Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. So... New Gishkis. Have you seen them? Um, I was like, well, I think everyone, you know, who, um, who saw that uh, the, you know, more old school decks were getting more support. And uh, one of those old school archetypes um, is Gishkis. And um, as you have might been in the formats where uh, Gishkis have been competitive, it was always, or when Gishkis are involved into competitive strategies, it's always degenerate every time no like kishki hand loop uh, with messier 7 um gus kraken hand loop you know that one uh we've had another uh kishki deck the the kishki deck out deck right to deck out your opponent and, and probably more than i'm forgetting but um this uh this sets the tone and um, i think throughout past years we got all of the kishki cards back like unbanned i think with gus kraken the new support is is Fantastic. It's really good. Uh, this new spell is basically a rota. It searches their new monster. Um, what is the name? I forgot. It's basically a diva. So it searches any Gishki from the decks. Uh, you know, one of those level 2s or whatever. But uh, you can go for your um, your Stratos, right? The one that's not once per turn. And here is where things hit the fan. Because your, um, you know, your Gishki Stratos, a level 2, you see where it all goes. It's not once per turn. You can keep abusing it. So... This one card with the current TCG ban list, you can end on this particular field and, you know, their new ritual uh, negates a monster effect. It's also not once per turn, it also reborns when it's ritual summoned, but here in this case, you know, during your opponent's turn, negate the monster effect, bounce itself back to the hand. You have the trap that basically, well, it doesn't ritual summon, but uh, it gives you, um, you know, it basically gets your ritual Gishki back to the field. So for another monster negation. And there is Toad as well. So all off of one card. So you could uh, have four cards in your hand still with this particular field. But that's not all. Okay, so going first, tier elements. And uh, you've seen that I opted to go for uh, more of a uh, power spell, um, you know, lineup with Mystic Mine and uh, Dark Ruler. You'll, s well, <laughs> you'll see why. But uh, I, I, th I think it makes sense. This deck can't support, let's say, 15 hand traps in a main. Um, as you saw, I'm not running too many Gishki rituals. They are kind of bricks. And as you know, you're main making so many searches, plus their ritual spell. You might play more of if this might be popular, you know, stuff like DD Crow could be iffy. But, you know, for testing purposes, we'll keep it as low as possible because, again, you can just re keep recycling the ritual spell, right? And, you know, we can do our same strategies. Keep, uh, you know, uh, Gishki Abyss, that was the name. There's Stratos, keep, you know, abusing it. And there is both uh, Sprite Elf and uh, the Coral Anemone to reborn something. Um, and, you know, the, basically you're focused on, or at least your goal is to end on basically the same sprite build as we now have, right, with uh, Toad, Elf, uh, and so on, right? Plus, and that's the difference with Gishkis coming into the package here, Gishki, well, depends on your hand, depends on your follow-up, extenders, you know what I mean. You can have, like, uh, you know, take a look at your opponent's hand with Gus Kraken one or two times, again, depends on your hand. And or uh, go for your level 10 first, you know, have like one or two extra monster negations. So it's, um, uh, it's really not, um, this is not, this is not okay. Um, but yeah, uh, who knows, you know, my Toad might actually be banned or s s swapped for or whatever by the time we get this. But, uh, but still, you know, there are more strategies and the Sprite engine is there because, you know, the level 2 extenders, uh, free links, free exceeds, I don't need to explain. This is why mine is there. Um, the, it gives you the opportunity or the potential of going second. <laughs> it feels like I'm justifying Mystic Mine. <laughs> Here in this case, I am, but... It, it it makes sense, as long as mine is a 3, uh, you know, decks like this that, that can't afford main decking 15 hand traps, you should do that. And this is why it's there. Uh, I can still play, your opponent can't play the Celic, I believe the card name was, was not live, I think, no? 
I think it probably would have been activated before, but, uh, you know, mine prevents your opponent from using any monster effects. I can, you know, get that cheesy win, but that's why it's there. Uh, again, if you're going second with stuff like Dark Ruler to, well, not go for an OTK, but being able to play through your opponents like Double Toad, Elf, or uh, like like this, right? Like, like the, the standard tier element fields. So again, go first. Um, the thing is, is that, as I've mentioned before, this is not a deck that can play through multiple hand traps. So like a deck main necking 15 hand traps, it's it's going to be very hard for this deck to play through that. Other than, you know, it might just play as a standard sprite deck with a small brick chance of, you know, like like drawing ritual spells or uh, ritual monsters. That, that And, you know, you want to keep those as, as low as possible. So gain the, the, the plus side of, uh, or as many pluses as possible from the Kishki package, right? Um, because it, it's good, it's definitely good as you saw. Um, so the call by is definitely an iffy one, it's fine, it's just, it's, it's a one-off. Um, but again, I can use my own L for blue to kind of make sure that I follow a place for next turn. Uh, yep, indeed, opponent negating my Mascarina and, you know, the Rituals monster is going to get bounced back, bounce itself back or any... Sp um, Gishki Ritual Monster to negate the effect, right? Um, so I can just get it back on the field with the trap card for another monster negation. And this is, you know, should be more than enough, right? The Deep Sea Diva in defense. So that that's the thing. If your opponent can't deal with your board here, you're still having a Sprite Elf or have another one in the extra deck. You have the Coral Anemone. Um, you know which one I mean. To reborn something to, to keep abusing your Kishki cards because again they are old school cards they are not once per turn um, and by the way this new Kishki ritual the level 10 I believe yeah is also not once per turn so I could see myself maybe making more copies of it um, the, the, the big uh, choke point I guess is uh, the lack of ritual spells uh, it might sound strange, right? I'm only playing one, but you know what I mean with Gishkis. You, uh, even though they're searchable and you can send that one copy back to the deck, you can search it with your Gishki one. Um, but you know, you eventually run out, uh, or you won't have any opportunity or any monsters or any of the Gishki cards to search your ritual spell. Does it mean that you want uh, to main deck more ritual spells? Probably not. Again, with the same strategy as Necros, right? They are searchable and you would rather want uh, other stuff, engine stuff, from Sprite, uh, from whatever that, uh, you know, could extend your place, play through hand traps, um, establish a bigger board, whatever. So, like, like this board is super easy for the deck. Um, again, depending on... I, that's, that's the thing. If you're playing against a, a, a deck which, you know, kind of is it 50-50 nowadays, the, an opponent with any deck that's not focused on hand traps but on board wipes, so uh, Super Poly or whatever. And that's where this deck could shine because, again, your opponent is not main decking any hand traps or a very few. Uh, your Gishki level 10 comes into play for that, for Nibiru, as you saw earlier. But... Like, if they don't run any hand traps, there is still the Gus Kraken that can, you know, take a look at your opponent's hand, well, two, and send back one. And depending on how your hand is, and the ratios also in the main deck, you can definitely get double Gus Kraken off. So that's two cards less for your opponent, plus you got free information for about, like, you know, two, three, or four cards if you're lucky. Um, so, again... Standard, standard opening. I should be able to go for uh, <laughs> go for game first turn, but uh, I mean, I mean, this field super standard. Again, have the toad for an omni negation, double toad because of the elf. As soon as my opponent has a monster on his or her side of the field, plus the um, what you call it, the Kishki um, ritual, right, to negate a monster effect twice. So immediately use the trap eventually to get the Kishki monster back on the field. Um, and, you know, yeah, the Toad is in indeed uh, forced out off of Mystic Mind. So, long story short, um, the thing is, is that the, the, the old school Kishki cards, they are not once per turn, so it's probably not with this support, but it's going to be a matter of time that all of these cards, probably, maybe not with this build, there are probably more options, more answers, more plays to, or at least more ways to play the deck, but uh, it's just going to be a matter of time that, that this is going to be abused or get abused. 
especially with you know the Gus Kraken was limited or banned, limited to one I think, for a reason. And um, you know stuff like Mind August could be main decked as well, the Pot of Everest one. So there there are more strategies, right? But I I kind of like the build. I like the sprites. You know, give you more options, more link plays, more exceed plays, um, and of course the Toad. Toad is just a cherry on top of it. Okay, guys, like always, feel free to leave feedback. Suggestions are always welcome. Okay, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.